Every CEO has unique talent, but unless they have a bigger ambition and a deeper cause, they'll struggle to inspire employees, customers and shareholders. Eileen Gittings, Chief Executive of online publishing company Blurb, has ambitions to reinvent the book industry. So, so what is your dream? I'm, I'm still intrigued. You know, what, what is the dream? The dream is that everyone in the world who has something to say, who's creating content today, perhaps, perhaps posting it to their blog or their site or their Facebook, can compile and curate that content into a beautiful book that can be shared either for personal reasons, can be uh, uh, presented and promoted as a marketing vehicle, or can be created for profit. And now increasingly, I think we have an opportunity to transform what a book should be in the 21st century. That is a very big business. Mm -hmm. Today, the book industry, the traditional book industry, is you know, 50 to $70 billion, depending on whose numbers you trust. It should be five times that big. And we want to be one of those businesses that tries it there. Some companies believe that success will only come when there's a shared dream. Xia Hua runs the Chinese fashion group Eve. Um, in, in Woman团队 uh, Having a grand vision is one thing, but sharing it effectively is quite another. Sir Martin Sorrell is the founder of marketing and advertising giant WPP. The, the objective is to make sure that we are the very best at what we do. Now what does that mean? That means the best to clients, the best to people who work in the company or people who are thinking about coming into the industry. Mm and the best in terms of the, st the other stakeholders, obviously shareholders and other stakeholders. So it means best, best in all dimensions. I've got 12 businesses. I've been at this for good or evil for 27, 28 years. We've seen three significant recessions. Makes me sound very old, which I am. But um, I'm not tired of it. And in fact, in terms of um, interest and involvement, it's more now than it's ever been. Some CEOs turn to psychology to get that point across. I call it grandma's house. Grandma's house. Yeah. When you got all the kids in the car <laughs> for two or three or four hours, and what do you do? You do all sorts of things to get them to endure the trip. Um, and I call it Grandma's house. You're going to take them to Grandma's house. They're going to have cake. They're going to have ice cream. We're going to get there. Grandma's got new toys for you. She's got all sorts of things. I think businesses are the same. You've got to be able to paint a picture of a vision of where a company is going or where people are in going that is better than where they are now. And the reason you do that is to get them to endure the trip. Because when they come to work every day, they're going to have to do things that are different. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to do things that are more exciting. They're going to have to make a left instead of a right. They'll do all of that as long as they know where grandma's house is. Nowadays, many chief executives are overscripted and they lack authenticity. The best way to communicate a dream is with genuine emotion and passion.